Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylan here and welcome to 2024 Marvel Strike Force. Now you might notice that I am missing from the screen and part of this is because, well, I feel a little bit rough today and I still need to get this video out for you all. So I'm here doing the video, but I'm not on screen, but that doesn't matter because we're here to talk about the icy extravaganza final event for the month long of December. So this is going to be your final event uh for this i just said that i don't know <laughs> and uh of course the following week we're going to be having uh forges month long for january so some things to look forward to but if you want to know exactly what you need to do and how much you need to do in order to get all the milestones cleared free to play then you know what to do let's boil this down Now, before we go any further, I do want to do a final recap of the month of this. Well, I mean, technically we're in January now, but you know what I mean, uh, of the month long event and things are OK. So we're at a grand total of 964 K, which is a surplus of 164 K. Now, some caveats. There were some really difficult points to get in a couple of events, including uh, 42,000 from the Arctic Assault that might still be running right now actually or yeah i think it might actually be is that the one that's in game right now i think it is arctic assault yeah i think there's some so when you go past these milestones there's like some way down here a lot like and so i think these are for whales to separate out of the leaderboard and i think that's the main intent there so that's not happening there was also 30,000 that was really hard to get from the sinister snowstorm event which was from a couple of weeks back uh so keep that that is added in the subtotal but you don't really need it right you, you're we should be plus like 90k or so for normal people which means that you didn't have to clear everything in order to pass it you actually in fact probably could have almost skipped an entire main event and still made it to 800,000 uh, for this one. So not too bad overall. And it's actually pretty on par with what November was at about 913K. And I think that that also had a couple, a little bit of difficult points too. So not too bad there. Otherwise, we have Icy Extravaganza. So let's get started with this one. Now, uh, this event, this event is a six day event that includes using campaign energy, raid battles with additional points for Extreme X Men. And alliance donations for the web milestone. Now that part's pretty easy. I do want to say though, just to start things off, the the milestones that we're going to get to in this one is not very good. The seven red star cyclops is going to be actually quite challenging to get, surprisingly, even though that's not a big deal. So I know a lot of people might be sitting on a one diamond cyclops, but if you want to actually activate that and get the seven red, if you don't have them already, then uh, you're going to need to spend more cores on energy. Now I don't think that this is actually worth it. I'll probably bring this up again later, but I think that if you really care about getting a seven red star Cyclops, then use your gold promos that you should be flooded in. Honestly, with the amount of login calendars, with the amount of you know ways that you can get gold promos now, I think that that's not really that big of a deal. So if you really want the seven red star Cyclops, don't spend the power cores because you're not actually getting any points for direct power core spending in anywhere down here. So that's why I don't think that you should be doing that. And so if you really want to get it, just use your gold promos to buy it. Uh, don't bother with milestone 15. We're just barely going to be getting to milestone 14, but I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to get there. So for the, oh crap, sorry guys. I don't know that jumped around. There we go. Total milestone points require 200,000. This includes the whale stones. Do we need to get to 100,000 for the event points? We're just going to barely get here. There's a few things that like I'm assuming, which is going to change a little bit. So uh, the free claim, we don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's going to be 500 points per day. It's going to be a little bit. I It might be a little bit more, but, you know, I doubt it's a little bit. I hope it's not a little bit less. Uh, but either way, that's going to kind of add. That's that's a 500 is pretty safe, you know, for a six day event. Total snowflake currency is 63,000. We mentioned that already. And the total web milestone points is going to be 24,000. Now, this is going to be 4,000 points per day. And you're going to get 3,000 cold hard cash per day. Uh, for an 18k total of cold hard cash one thing that i do want to mention really quickly about that one too is be wary about your event store you know i've mentioned this in a couple of videos before but you know make sure you're on top of spending this and also just kind of you know pay attention to the time left in the store this might be different than by the time that you're watching it i think there's going to be three days on the back of the, uh, the this event so when icy extravaganza ends i think there's three or four days left for you to spend your currency just make sure that you're of whatever you're buying Make sure that you're actually paying attention to this. For me, 
I'm kind of buying specific uniques that I'm looking out for. So I'm just making sure I don't have too big of a hoard of the cold hard cash because I don't want to have to panic spend it at the last minute. So just make sure you're keeping on top of that so that you're not wasting time on that one. Also, to complete the web milestone is super easy. I have that actually over here. It's called the Polar Power Web Milestone. You actually just need to apparently let's zoom out a little bit. It's, it's like 100 points. So you need 100 alliance credits, which is like one box or even just doing your daily donation. Like it's incredibly easy. So unless that's, unless that's not true, uh, but assuming that it is, then, you know, everyone should get this. I, I, anyone like even like solo players will be able to get this because as long as you're in an alliance, you can donate the credits, uh, donate your, your gold and, and get those get 100 points. It's, it's super easy. So that shouldn't be a big, a big problem at all. Now, uh, for the rest of it, though, you get four points per campaign energy spent. We'll talk about the total amount of points daily that you're going to get from that. And then you're going to get a total of 42,000 points from playing your raid battles. Now you get 700 per raid battle. This is equivalent to 10 raid battles per day. So 7,000 points daily times six would give you 42,000. This is super easy. You could probably get 10 raid battles, honestly, just out of your Greek raids. And then you have your other raids as well. So you could probably clear this within a couple of days. Like it's not going to be, it's not going to take you very long to do this. On the other side of things, we have Extreme X-Men. So you get 3,600 points or four, four characters, actually. Like one battle with, with multiple Extreme X-Men to get this super easy. So this is going to be included in the math. That should be hard. That's not hard, rather. And the Extreme X-Men at G16. I am including this one in because I don't think... I, I think that you should have Gambit at G16+. plus. Now, if you're a player that isn't quite there, that you're, you're not as far ahead, you may not get this, perhaps. Uh, but this is really important for, you know, most people. And this is, again, very easy to do. You can do this in one raid attack. It doesn't even have to be in the incursion raids. Like you could do this in the Greek raids where there's mutant sections that you can use your extreme X-Men, get the points for that, and then go home. As far as the Nightcrawler and Forge points, I'm not including that as reasonable points for this one because G17 and 18, while I have G17 and I hope that I will have G18 pretty soon here, I'm just missing a few Osmium, I'm not expecting everyone to have that. Same with Forge, he's not even available for you to play, so that's not included there. Some of the Nightcrawler points aren't required, though, and this might help you get to that 7 Red Star Cyclops. So if you don't have G18 Nightcrawler, getting that 7 Red Cyclops is going to be very challenging for you to do. And that's what I meant earlier on when I just said it's easier just to spend the gold promo credits in order to get that, if that's something that you want. As far as the campaign energy goes, you know, this one's still the same. So 1100 is what you can kind of expect for your total daily energy. And this includes your free to play energy. That's just your time based energy, your three free refreshes per day and up to four core refreshes per day. This could be either three or four core refreshes plus the packs, the energy packs that you get and whatnot. Uh, and then the web milestone gives you 100 energy there as well, which gives you a total of about 1108 times by four because we're getting four points per energy. And that's 26,000. 592 over the course of six days. So that's a subtotal there. And so if you add up those 26,600, basically rounding up, you add it with the 42,000 points from the raid battle, you add it with the 24,000 web milestone points and these extreme X-Men points, you get yourself two total reasonable points of 104,000. This is just passing milestone 14. Now I have some final notes here for you. If you do want to get the Cyclops, then you need to get to milestone 15, right? And just to double back at the chart, it is 115,000. So again, if you had that Nightcrawler at gear 18, that would be enough right there. Like you would not have to spend more cores to do that and it'd be pretty easy to do. So if you have gear 18 Nightcrawler and you want seven Red Cyclops and you don't have them, go ahead. You know, it's pretty easy to do. But uh, you'll need to either spend more cores or have, like I said, or have Nightcrawler at G18 to make up the points difference. But the amount of difference, basically 11,000 in points in campaign energy is about 2750 which is a lot and it's equivalent to about 600 cores daily into your campaign energy unless the free claim is more generous than what i put down uh it actually in fact could be higher if the free claim is less generous than what i put down uh honestly though i think that if that's your situation i would just buy the seven red with the gold promos save the power cores because that's an additional what 400 times six uh, 2,400 power cores to get the seven red Cyclops that in my opinion is not worth it. And I think that the cores have more value in itself. So this one's actually pretty easy. Uh, this is probably one of my shortest event videos in a while, actually, uh, because really all you need to do is spend campaign energy, make sure you're logging in, doing your stuff and doing your raids. And it's not even a lot of raids anyways, and just making sure that you throw in those extra points for those extreme X-Men, whether it's in your incursion raid or it's in your Greek raids. And uh, we'll all go home and have the next six days 
to recoup after the holidays and get into what's probably going to be some more challenging events going forward into January for Forge's month-long event, which I guess we'll hear about on Friday's blog post since Scopely should be back in the office pretty soon. So that's the end of this video, everyone. I hope you all had a great weekend, uh, a great holidays, and a great New Year's, whatever you ended up doing. And welcome to 2024 Marvel Strike Force. More to come on this channel, of course. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to keep up to date with all things boil on in Marvel Strike Force and beyond. And until next time, everybody stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boil on signing out.